Those of you who heard, welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine. Today, we are back in Delfino Square and everybody is in a panic because Princess Peach has been stolen by, I think, Shadow Mario, right? Master Mario, the princess. Oh no, this is not good. All the toads, like I said, are all worked up at the moment. Horrible, horrible, Princess Peach has been kidnapped. Okay, so I guess we're heading over this way, I believe. Looks like a lot of people are really worked up over this. Can we talk to a few of them? Don't get all high and mighty with me. You swim like a stone. I guess they're talking to this guy. Uh, back off, I know for a fact that you can't swim a stroke either. All right, well, hi Toad. Only the Toads seem to be concerned about Peach. Awful, terrible, Princess Peach has been kidnapped. And I guess over here? Hello, do you have anything to say about it? What's that? Hold on, I smell it. Something's going to happen, but where, where is it? I guess over this way? I do hear a shimmering shine somewhere. Oh, oh no, what's happening? Oh my. Mario. Ah, that's a long tongue. Not good. <laughs> And we get splashed. Oh geez, that thing is fast. That is Pina Island. The villain secret hideout must be there. So I guess we're heading to Pina Island to save Princess Peach from Shadow Mario. Here we are back in the plaza. I already chose the next thing that we could do. That is going to be another episode. But for right now, yeah, we're already here. You can see this big cannon kind of thing. Hello. You want to go out to that island? All right then, hop in there and cover your ears. Will do, but there's a bunch of toads I do wanna to talk to because there's, you know, they're here. The princess is on that island. I think it's called Pineapple or something. How do you think you can get there? I guess we just hop into the, whatever that is. Mario, is the princess okay? Hopefully we can find out. I can't imagine what the poor princess is going through. Mario, please save her. All right, will do. So we just need to hop into this thing. It's a little slippery, but, oh, I missed. There you go. And with it, we just get launched all the way over. I think we overshot it a little, but here we are to Peanut Park. Episode one, Mecha Bowser appears. Whoa. Mecha Bowser appears. Whoa, it's like a theme park too. There's a Ferris wheel, a roller coaster. That's awesome. Let's definitely take a look at this place. Super peaceful too. There's like a big sunflower back that way. Interesting. Hello. The entrance to Peanut Park is just straight over that way. You can't miss it. Will do. Okay, this is so cool. I think we could talk to you as well. Just different park goers, attendees. Welcome to Peanut Park. Oh, and there he is, Shadow Mario. Okay, so the chase is on. Let's get you. Oh, something's attacking me over there. Okay, a little more caught up. Still can't quite get you, you get over here. Uh-oh. What's this about? The Shadow Mario is so spooky. Uh-oh, I don't like this one bet. What is happening? Oh no, it's the Mecha Bowser. Did the perpetrator get away? Uh, no, but we might have to in a moment. What do we do about this thing? It's huge. Uh-oh. I don't like this one bit. Here comes Mecha Bowser. Whoa! <laughs> Things are getting fired up now, huh? Amazing, what a spectacle. Is this a new show of ours? You guys are great. Whoever hired you needs a raise. I love how you play the fearless hero and he's like a bad version of you, but you both look the same and stuff. Well, as director of this park, I want to ensure your success. So, how about I provide you with a hero's vehicle? Follow me. 
What is going on now? Whoa, we're on the roller coaster. Look at this. Oh, we have a, a, a rocket, it looked like. Oh man. What do we do about all this? Okay, so where is he at the moment? So do I just fire this at him? A bull bill approaches from behind. Do I just, what do I do about it? Um. Okay, I launched that over. That didn't really seem to do very much. Yeah, I know it approaches from behind, but what do I do about it, Flood? I'm trying to get it. Oh, I sent that rocket flying. Okay, there's gotta be something I can do here. Um, Here comes another rocket. I think that was my chance. Ah! Ow! Launch this out, I'm ready. Gotcha! Oh, that's gonna give him a bit of a headache. Danger, try to douse the flames with water. Oh, uh, I didn't mean to do that. I immediately sent the, I'm trying to stop the bullet bill is all. There you go. Can I control how fast I'm going or something like that? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, with this rocket, I'm hoping maybe I can land a far off shot. Right about there. Oh, a little too high on that one. So I've taken a little bit more damage. Here's another bullet bill. It might just be a time situation where I just have to do it before the bullet bills get rid of all of our health. Oh no, the loop, the loop. Oh, we're coming into another one. Oh gosh. Hope you had a light lunch. Okay, ready? Ah! Did I get him? I don't think that counted. Yikes. Okay, but there's another one over his head, it looked like. Ow. Oh, this is really starting to hurt. What do I do about this? It's a little confusing. That got you. Oh, I did get it. I did get it. Okay, so you can hit it with flood. It's a little tricky to do so. Here we go again. Ready? Right there. Did I? Oh, I hit the rail. No way. This is getting really tough. We just need one more shot. So I might as well take the rocket shot when we can. That way I can protect myself from the bullet bills. Man, oh man, this is weird. Oh, it's very bright too. So there's no rocket up here anymore. Okay, here we go again. Oh, from behind, from behind. Ah, uh, too late, too late. Oh no, they're coming. I'm just gonna launch that and try to deal with these bullet pills because it's a bit more important at the moment. Oh my gosh, it is so dizzying. I know, I know, I'm trying, I'm trying, Flood. But then I wasted the bullet, or the rocket again. So this is my first time doing it. Oh, but I hit you, somehow. Whoa. There we go, I think we got you. Mecha Bowser's been busted. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Peach is in there too. What is he up to now? Whoa, wait a minute. Is that Bowser Jr.? Leave my mama alone, you bad man. I won't let you take Mama Peach away. Mama? Mama Peach? I'm your mama? Yeah, Papa told me all about it. That's a lot different than our course of events now, isn't it? Uh-oh. So Bowser Jr. is making off with Princess Peach again. You get back here! No, not again. Oh no. Don't think we'll be able to catch up to that right now, unfortunately. 
Okay, so Corona Mountain, but look at that. We do still get a shine for our troubles, but wasn't that interesting? I'm pretty sure that was the first ever appearance of Bowser Jr. in a Mario game. So yeah, pretty cool. Bowser's son, who apparently believes that Princess Peach is his mama. Huh. By the way, we get ourselves our 34th shine there, and we still have more peanut part to explore, but yeah, now with Princess Peach missing, we're back on the hunt for everything. Hopefully we can actually progress the game and, and save her. Yeah, we're back at Delphine, I'll pause it now. Still not gonna touch that, that's a whole other level. But we should just be good for hopping straight in. Interesting that the, some of them are like little areas you have to jump through the portal, but some of them like this are more environmentally contextual. We just have to go through the cannon and get launched right back over. So for episode two, the beach cannon's secret. Let's give it a go. So the beach cannon, I don't think that's the one we just launched out of. Oh wow, is that a Monty Mole? Sort of looks like it. So yeah, let's try to figure this one out a little bit. But yeah, still, that was Bowser Jr. before. Like I said, the, probably the first appearance of Bowser Jr. in a Mario game, so I know that shortly after he appeared in New Super Mario Bros. for the DS. What are you doing? Get out of here. Let's see if I can talk to you. Tarnation, tell them to stop that noise. Whoa, this guy's just launching at me right away. He has a problem. That hurt too. Out of nowhere, some weird thing over, took over my place. And now these explosives are flying everywhere. Please, you must help me. I'll do what I can. Oh, you're the sunglasses guy, I don't need to talk to you. So what exactly am I doing about all this? I guess, can I spray the bombs? Oh wow, I get some easy coins for it, that's for sure. They disappear almost immediately. Okay. Whoa, 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 this is different. I can pick it up and toss it back over, right? Oh, that hurt. Let's do that a couple more times. Oh no, oh no. Oh, they're about to explode. Ow. That was, that was painful. Come on, that's gotta get it. There we go. Was that it? Well, that's what you get. Causing all this trouble at the park. Oh, can we go inside? I suppose so. And this is a Shadow Mario secret level. Well, now we know it's Bowser Jr. causing all the problems with that magic paintbrush of his. Which once again, that was made by Professor Egad. Weird how he's helping both the good guys and the bad guys. He just wants to make his crazy inventions. Oh wow, I almost just fell immediately. So this is tricky. All these platforms are actively falling apart, falling away. I have to be careful exactly where I go, how I jump. It can certainly be a challenge to know exactly where to go. That was scary. So what's the deal with this? Um, I'll get some coins out of these. Maybe I'll get a one up. Aha, thank you very much. I think that's maybe where we'll fall if we do, or at least we'll land if we fall. Whoa, whoa, I was not expecting those to be bouncy. They do not look bouncy. Come on, got it. Oh, I see. No, 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 that was already a bad idea. <laughs> That's okay. Luckily, they were nice enough to give us some kind of, some place to land. It just wasn't immediately to our doom. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to get up there again. I love this song, by the way. Just a little acapella version is always fun. And then, right, the, that one's disappearing. I jumped a little too soon. That's okay, that's okay. <laughs> One more time. Also, sort of the surrounding art always reminds me of Yoshi's Island with this sort of hand-drawn style. Really cute. Okay, this is the one. Okay, gotta go a little bit faster. We made it, we made it. Now this one is definitely a little bit more nerve-wracking. If I wanted to be extra risky, I could try to grab that one one up, but I don't even need to. There we go, we got it. Awesome, so it took a couple of tries, but luckily we didn't lose any lives, and we got our 35th shine. So that was a fun little secret area. Save and continue. Okay, good stuff. And we're back to it. 
So there's still a lot to digest in today's episode, but I guess, you know, so far it's been pretty eventful. We started off with a boss fight against Bowser Jr. And Bowser told Bowser Jr. that Peach was his mama, that Mario's always cheating, that Mario stole Peach, when it's op really the opposite. I wonder if Bowser Jr. is gonna figure that out. Episode three, Red Coins of the Pirate Ships. Now I think I remember this one, and if I do, it's really, really challenging. I guess I'll have to wait and see. I love the park though, it's so cool, just the little details here. Okay, so let's switch over to this, and let's go into the park. Uh-oh, what's happening? Oh, I see. So you can see on these little ships, they're going up and down. They have red coins all over them. It's gonna be real tough to hold on now. But hey, this is our chance to talk to some of the people attending the, the park. The pirate ship is currently our most popular ride. Why not give it a try? Will do, will do. But there are some other rides we could check out here too if we wanted to. Hey there, Mr. Hero. Have you tried the pirate ship yet? It's a non stop throw ride. Hmm, me? No, I'm afraid I'm a little too old for such things. Gotcha. All right, well, looks like the entry is over here. What do these two think about it? Wee, ha <laughs> Dad, let's ride the, the scary one. Um, why don't you just go on alone? You'll be just fine. <laughs> Daddy will stay here and take pictures. Yes, that's right. <laughs> All right, well, I, I can understand. It's a bit of a scary ride. Every three swings, the ship makes a full rotation. Be careful, that is intimidating. There's not even any seatbelts on this thing. All right, well, as you can see, we're just supposed to hold on tight and try to get some red coins out of it. Oh no, oh no, I think this next one's gonna be a full rotation. Oh my, it is. Is there any coins up here? There's a blue coin that I don't want. No, uh, yeah, I don't see. I guess I could go over here. Ah, no, I missed it. Darn. Um, but there was something way up there. Jeez, this is tricky. I don't really know the best way to go about it. But I guess I could maybe just get back onto the ship from here. Oh, let's make sure I actually get it. There we go, there's three red coins. Now on the ship itself, I'm not really seeing too much more. Oh no, oh no. Ah, Mario, you got it. No, you don't, you don't got it. So, over there I can see one of them. I might try to get onto this palm tree really quick so that we can maybe scout this out a little bit because we have three of them. There's four. Five is over there. I know six is way up that way. So that might not be all of them, but at least we can get started with those. Oh no, oh no, actually I might go back. If I can land on the pirate ship as it's sort of swinging upwards, it'll probably be my best bet. This music is really cool though. Aha, there's more over here. Now the problem, oh, I made it. I was gonna say the problem is I might not make it, but I didn't make it, so we're fine. There we go, there's our fourth red coin. There are blue coins everywhere for this level. So here is red coin. Number five, if I can see it. Hold on right there. So actually we're making great progress now. I wanna slam through this and yeah, as you can see. No, no, that was the wrong button. Darn, I always get that mixed up. There's a button to let go and a button to smack it. I did the wrong one. Hmm. Maybe I could just get up like this because what I wanna do, I think, does that not work? Maybe I could just spray them. Oh, there we go. I got it. So do that again. See ya. It should be much easier to get through now. <laughs> oh, okay, that was just me being silly. I don't know if those enemies will come back, so I do sort of want to be quick about this, but that should be enough. Excellent. Now once again, slam on this. Let's see if I can get across. There's coin number six. And then let's hit the right one this time. There you go. Why did that not work? There it goes, there it goes. And I think we actually need to go under, right? For coin number seven on the way up. We got it. 
And I wonder, can I? Oh, I can. I can send them flying. Just like that. So I don't know how easy it would be to get up from there, but what I can do is just climb right back down. See ya. And then jump off, jump up. Whoa, that was odd. There we go. And now it should be much easier to get that final rod point. So honestly, this wasn't so bad. I thought it would be a whole lot more difficult. And how convenient the final rod coin is right next to the shine. So we'll grab that. Thank you very much. So honestly, so far, Peanut Park has actually been pretty easy. So I'm happy to see that. Hopefully the, the good times keep rolling and we can just move on to the next shine. So let's just hop straight back into that cannon and see what we can do next. So yeah, back over here, slam it down, and we're going. So this is episode four, I believe. Yeah, the wilted sunflowers. Oh yeah, because we saw those sunflowers at the front of the park. Oh no! The poor things, they need water. Are those Yoshi eggs? Wait, do we finally get Yoshi? I would love it if that's the case. I didn't think Yoshis were bad creatures, that's for sure. Huh. So are Yoshis to blame for that? I brought this baby to view the sunflowers, but this looks unsafe. Okay, well there's certainly something we can be able to do to help, right? What is going on? Whoa, that's not a Yoshi. Uh, can I do something about you? I'm not quite sure. Uh, whoa! Oh, here we go, here's our chance, here's our chance. Slam him. Gotcha. And that gave us a coin. Maybe now I can just water you up? There you go. Much better. What happens if I don't, if I just keep, you know? Oh, I see, it's maybe not enough. Okay, we'll just wake up the rest of these guys if we can. Maybe if we defeat all of these turtles, they aren't Yoshi eggs, they're like little imposters. Okay, so they'll probably try to jump on me, right? Maybe if I try to jump on them. So what got them to do it before? Oh no, that did. Okay, here's my chance, here's my chance. Gotcha. That'll be another coin for us too, so that's gonna grow a bunch more sunflowers. And that's another sunflower grown. Get some good coins for doing all this too, but man, they disappear so quick, why? You'd think it would be a little bit more courteous with that. So here we go again. Oh, ow. Okay, that was just me being silly, I suppose. Here comes that super jump of yours. And then we'll slam on ya. And that'll be another group of them. So I think we have two more left to defeat in that same way. Just trying to grab these where I can. There you go, not too bad. Yeah, two more left. I guess I could maybe speed it up a little. That might not be worth the risk, actually. They really aren't happy when you wake them up. Guess you're not morning, people. Okay, here comes that jump. So with that, will there be sunflowers growing on top of sunflowers? It looks like it. Very interesting. Okay, so I'm not gonna worry about the coins too much. It's fine. Instead, much more worth my time to focus on this. So this should wake up the final one, the big one. All right, we got you, no worries. So let's see, will you chase after me? They seem to have a specific pattern where they run around for a certain amount of time before they decide to do the jump. Gotcha, so there we go, all five of them defeated. And with it, five different sunflower patches. Ta-da! Rise and shine! All right, so they'll actually give us a shine as well. Very cool. Boom. So there we go, that one wasn't too bad. Just a little bit more time consuming, I suppose. Okay, save and continue. And we'll hop right back in there. Of course, it's gonna do the typical stuff, but... Wait a minute! Whoa, now this is a Yoshi egg! 
What is happening? Shadow Mario has a Yoshi. All right, well that is actually something I do believe we want to do right now. Before we hop into a level again, let's go and help out that Yoshi. Will Toadstool say anything? I can't imagine what the poor princess is going through. So now he's not even concerned about Yoshi. Well, I am, so let's go and deal with that as soon as we can. And I think that was at the very front of town. So maybe we just have to hunt down Shadow Mario to get that Yoshi egg. Oh, there you are. Okay, you get back here, buddy. Drop that egg. Come on, come on. We've already done some good work on you. We gotta keep you at a certain distance, because if not, it just goes right over their head. And the game is sort of slowing down a little bit over here. Okay. I was just spraying away the birds there. <laughs> Shadow Mario didn't quite make that jump. Oh no, now you did. I think that was actually sort of impressive. Not gonna lie. Oh no. Okay, can I get up there? Oh, almost, almost. Got it. Come on, you have to be down. There you go. Darn, and I was just about to ride that Yoshi too. So now it's just the Yoshi egg, and you want a banana. Where can we find a banana, I wonder? A mysterious mustachioed man has been seen running about town holding an egg. Oh, here are the bananas, like object. The mustache man is also the primary suspect in the recent kidnapping of Princess Peach, which isn't entirely true. We're being framed for that too. Oh boy. Uh, so let's try this out. I think, can I wall jump? With the banana, wow, look at Mario, multitasking like like it's nothing. So here's your banana, little Yoshi. There we go. Wow, and it's a pink Yoshi. You befriended Yoshi, make him eat with Y. So with how Yoshi works in this game, which is so cool, you get to ride around as Yoshi. This is something that I think a lot of Mario 64 players dreamed of, and now it's finally here. So it can run around, can eat different fruit and such, and I do believe that over time the juice will go down, so we will have to refill it, if I remember correctly. But eating different kinds of fruit will change Yoshi's color. I don't know if that affects his abilities at all or anything. But yeah, with that being said, I think we're good to just sort of run around with Yoshi, and it's pretty cool, right? The one major downside to Yoshi, as we'll probably see in just a moment, is that if he touches water, he fades away. I'm sorry, Yoshi. Uh, so that is something we'll have to be very, very careful of in certain areas and levels where we will need Yoshi. But in the meantime, I think we're good to go back into Peanut Park. Okay, so we're slamming right back into Peanut Park. I hope, there you go. And with that, I think we're doing episode five now, if I'm not mistaken. Episode five, the runaway Ferris wheel. Oh my, that sounds intense. Whoa, yeah, it's moving quick. Hope there's nobody on there. This park is starting to seem really dangerous. Maybe not recommend going there. Whoa, this little bug guy's out here now. The entrance to Peanut Park is, oh, you know it, don't you? Yeah, it's right up here. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Oh my. Got a lot of cutscenes in this area. Oh, there's like a big, one of those electrified Koopas in a way. Out there taking a nap. I think that's supercharging the Ferris wheel. Oh my. Whoa! The wheel's out of control, it's just spinning madly. Oh, we'll definitely have to do something about that. See, it's a supersized version of one of these guys. So I will just try to get over there for now, but as you can see, we haven't gone down this path. It's like a nice little side path with, ah, a tree. Okay, that was, uh, yeah, you can't jump on him. Can you spray him? Not really, tricky. Can I talk to you really quickly? No, please, leave me alone. Hey there, Mr. Hero. Have you tried the Ferris wheel yet? It's a delightful rob. What's that you say now? Yes, it does seem to be spinning rather excessively. Hmm. Yeah, uh, maybe not the best time to ride the Ferris wheel, considering. I think these are the people yeah, who were in front of the uh, pirate ships earlier. Wow, I like the Ferris wheel even better at high speed. Please, can we ride it? Please, Dad! Some weird turtle is doing bad stuff back there. It's crazy. So back here? Is that maybe how we get on top? 
Whoa, looks like it. These electric Koopas are up to no good. Could you flush them out, of, out from back there? Thanks. There's a lot of electric Koopas. Whoa, look at this brick block. We have not seen many of these in this game. But that gives me a one-up. Interesting. Just see mechanics from an older Mario game make its appearance here. You just don't really see that very much. So what are we doing with this, I wonder? I think we can, we can, no, wrong button. Hold on. No, I can't hit it. Maybe I can spray it? Yep, I can spray them. So I probably wanna spray a few of them, but not all of them. That way I can jump up like that. Hey, that's not good. So it doesn't last for very long. But I got those two. How do I do that in time, I wonder? I might just want to, oh, I can spray while I'm on this even. No, not really. This is very bizarre. See, that doesn't seem right, but if it works, I suppose. Oh, I see, I could just do this. Oh. So very tricky, for sure. I feel like there's gotta be a better way to do this, but I suppose if it gets us where we're trying to go. What is that noise? I do see you up here. I don't think that lasts for very long. Yeah. Huh. I can't even see anything. Oh my. This is a really tough level so far. I don't know what to make of this. Oh no. See, how do I deal with you, I wonder? Do I just want to maybe do this the easy way, quote unquote? Ah, no, that's gonna let you keep me. Hold on, Mario. Go, go, go. And what do we do here? I hope I can do this without getting zapped. Where do I go from here, though? What in the world is going on? Maybe I could, oh, wait, wait, no! Ah, oh, all the way back down to the bottom. But I got more height off of that than I was expecting, so perhaps I could try that again and just make it a little bit better this time. Whoa, okay, that sort of did something. I'm just trying to sort of jump off of this at the moment and it doesn't actually let me. Which I, I'm a little confused about. How do I get off this thing? Uh, just like that. Okay, so that way I want to... Ooh, nope, that's not gonna work. I'm back down here. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so difficult. Okay, one thing I think you have to do here is just sort of be very methodical. The camera does not help and that's... It's so weird because it's the X button to hit it when you're on the side, but it's the B button to hit it when you're on the ceiling, which makes it very easy to get mixed up. But I'm just trying to very carefully defeat each one of these little Electro Koopas so that hopefully I could do the rest of it without too much of a headache. But so far, just doing that seems to be quite the headache. Okay, with all those Electro Koopas out of the way, I think I'm good just to, ooh, I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but could I just, no, uh, where am I? I'm right there. Oh, so that opens this? Wait, whoa, is it really gonna knock me off right now? That is, it's so hard because it, it's not only difficult to see, you have to traverse this area where you can't really see real because the camera's not working with you. And the platforming is a little weird because of how these platforms work. It is just, it is bizarre to say that much. Okay, so apparently that's what I can do here. And then, oh, you know what? Won't this retract? Yeah, okay. Uh, where did Mario go? There you are, Mario. I guess I could hit you there, and then perhaps, I don't know where I am now. <laughs> the camera is not really made for this, but they tried to make it work anyways, which is questionable. Ah, uh, either way, I got rid of the last turtle, so I should be fine with getting back up there one more time and getting it that way. Okay, we got it again. And now that there's no Electro Koopas, I should just be able to get up this way, no problem. And hope that I press the right button. Got it, okay, so. Here we go again, what do I do from here? I'm not really quite sure. I guess that, all right, we did it, see ya. That one really was difficult. But as you can see, for knocking him off, we do get ourselves a shine way at the top. Will it slow down though? That'll make it easier. 
So it isn't just surviving all that we gotta do, we also have to figure this out. So how do I get up there the easiest? I think for right now. Can I do that? Yes I can, I'm on top. I won't let this do its thing. We are so far up, look at this view. Nothing but ocean out that way, but this way we get a couple of different spots, some of which we've seen. That was uh, Gelato Beach, uh, whatever that one's called right now, I can't remember. And there is a new one we haven't been to, so lots of cool stuff. But for right now, let's go ahead and grab the shine. Good job, Mario. So there we go, it was a real challenge, but we got through that level, and we got our 38th shine for it. So. We still have quite a few left to get in today's episode, so we gotta keep moving, but oh no, here we go again with Shadow Mario. This one I might have to leave for later. We'll see. But right now, I think we wanna just head back into Peanut Park. You know what, you never know when those nozzles might come in handy, so as we saw with Yoshi, basically, you know, Shadow Mario has an item, and we can just sort of take it from him if we can catch up to him, so. He's up here for now. This one might be a little bit more difficult to catch out. Oh, here's another Yoshi egg too, so good to know what those are. Okay, just gotta keep chasing him. Got him a little bit there. So you get back here. Crazy how much the game is slowing down during these segments. I don't remember that being the, the case in the original game. So it'd be weird if it's happening here on the, the Switch version. Oh no. Let's not lose you. Come on, oh, that was not very much. I wonder if I could just, hold on. Oh, did we get you? There we go, that was good, that was good. Rats, and I was about to have to turbo dash too. So this is a new nozzle, you got the turbo nozzle. Press and hold ZR to zoom. So this one's pretty cool, if I remember correctly. Basically with it, press and hold ZR to power up the turbo nozzle and super dash, oh gosh, I was supposed to hold it. Whoa! <laughs> Running on the water and everything, look at Mario go! I love it. And we can do this basically forever because it's constantly refilling water too, so that's awesome. Either way though, not gonna be using it too much for right now. Instead, we wanna hop back into the cannon and go to our next episode here in Kino Park. You are making some great progress so far with everything. Glad to say. The Yoshi Go Rounds secret. Ooh, so this is where we finally might be able to play Yoshi in a level. I sure hope so. But I guess I'll have to wait and see. Okay, so let's go over here for now. And see the park is, yep, yep, yep. Okay, they're not gonna say anything new, I suppose. And it looks like we couldn't bring the turbo nozzle in with us, but something's happening. Okay, look at the little Yoshi go around. That's so cute. I love it. So where is that on? I'm not sure. Whoa. Oh, right over there. What? Someone's found a Yoshi egg. A real one. And where is that on? Okay, these two are gonna cause me problems later if I don't find a way to... See, how would I even? I can't really attack them in that time, can I? Oh no, I got you. So I just have to spray them as they're throwing their turtle shell, which is easier said than done, right? Because they, they have some wicked aim with that. There you go. We do get some good coins for it, at the least. This is the uh, the park owner. Hey there, Mr. Hero. Have you tried the Yoshi go round? Hmm, not enough Yoshis, you say? What do you? Oh yeah, the orange one broke. I forgot about that. We lacked the funds to fix it, so we just took it off. So where's the Yoshi egg, I wonder? Not around here, it seems. Yoshis are born from eggs. Yes, eggs just like these. A Yoshi egg? Now that you mention it, I did see an egg. So it's not around here, but maybe if we did bring it back here to complete the merry-go-round? Look at that, only, only the orange Yoshi on the ride Disappeared. What does it mean, mister? Huh? Huh? Okay, well, I think I know. This is the Yoshi go round. Know about Yoshis? They used to roam this island freely, but now they've gone. 
So Yoshis used to be on this island. But I guess maybe all the populace sort of drove them out. Did they migrate? Is that how Yoshis work? Not quite sure. Either way, where can we find the Yoshi egg? Right over here. Hello. What the? What's with this egg? Well, I think I know. But first, I want to get rid of you, if possible. Oh, I got it that time, right? Sorta. Yeah, that gets them to like electrocute themselves, which is pretty neat. But as you can see, right up here, can I just, yeah, knock it down. I think that was the free Yoshi was asking for, it's this little pair. Oh gosh, didn't mean to do that. Oh no, <laughs> get back here. <laughs> Whoops, okay, so I can't dive while holding the fruit. That's okay. Can do just about everything else. Can't use flood though. Here you go. And what do you know, it's an orange Yoshi. Oh, and wow, this Yoshi. Did they all do that? Did I just not notice before? But yeah, we can spray juice everywhere. Yeah, it's so silly. I love it. We have the super long tongue. It goes out really far. But let's see, the orange Yoshi should fit pretty in, pretty well in uh, right here. Did that work? Yeah, it brings us to a secret level. Wow. So here we are. Whoa, look at all the sunflowers in the background. So cool. We have this Yoshi theme blocks. I love all the Yoshi theme in this game. Pretty cool. So these platforms are really spinning at some points. Gotta be careful. But if I could grab a one up here, that'd be great. Don't know if either of these are gonna cough one up, but I do see one over there. I don't know if it'd be easy to get to that, but here's another one. And it looks like, yeah, we have all these passing platforms. Ooh, I gotta be careful though, because I can't actually, oh my, ooh, not quite the best timing. <laughs> Sorry, Mario. Luckily, I just got that one up though, so nothing lost, nothing gained. Okay, let's try this again. That one yellow block is a little scary, right? So it was this one, I believe. One more. Oh wait, one more for real. There you go. So I wanna hop on that green one and I wanna try to make it to the gray one, but I guess it could just be fine to stay on the red one for most of it. See, that's where it gets tricky. I'm not quite sure. I guess our goal is to get to the blue one. No, oh, come on. I was trying to get started with a double jump, but instead I did a side jump. That is really tough. Not much room to move. Okay, this time I made it, so that's good. And I think this one's close enough that I should just be able to, ooh, just barely. So if I did want to sort of play it slow and steady, we can just wait for this to wrap around once to get an extra one up, which at this point, I really don't mind. Getting at the 22 lives sounds pretty good. I'm sure we'll be needing more of these lives sooner or later, so. Definitely want to try my best with that. And then, ooh, ah, uh, ah, uh, so scary, so scary. But we're not even done. This block's gonna move over. Is this gonna start spinning around or something crazy? I guess not. What is with that up there? Oh, don't, don't bother. It's like a water block of some sort. Interesting. So we have to wait for this one to move back. I don't think it'll move all the way, yeah. So just gotta choose what we can there. I think I... Wall jump off of this. It's always so scary, you never know exactly where you're gonna end up. And can I just... Oh, this is all kinds of risky. Is this what I wanna go for? I don't think so. I think instead, I want to hop on top of this and then go for a huge jump. Got it. Man, oh man, that was a crazy one. But there we go, we got the shine. I'm not looking forward to that one again with the red coins, but we will have flood, and I'm sure that'll make it a little bit easier. But there we have it, our 39th shine, so we're coming up on 40 now, which is pretty crazy. Oh no, Shadow Mario's back again. He's keeping us busy today, isn't he? Something with a red pipe up there too? Not really sure what the deal is. Okay, ow. <laughs> I fell again. So, I guess we'll go and do that now. 
So once again, I don't know exactly when we might end up needing these nozzles, so if I can take the chance to get them now, I might as well. Let's see. Might be able to get up there with that. Where'd he go? He's right over there. Okay, so when you do that, he does start running, but at least I got some easy, easy spraying on him. Get back here. Where's he gonna go? Okay, he's going this way? All right, if you say so. No, he's going back, he's going back. I think he learned his lesson. See, it's so weird, he can swim in water. I guess it's just a water pressure that's knocking him over. Shoot, and I was just about to rocket jump too. So this one we have seen in previous levels, but I guess we've unlocked it permanently now. Press and hold ZR to build up power in the rocket nozzle and launch. Look at that, we get some major height, which is pretty cool. And you might be wondering what's going on with this wiggly stuff. You can't spray it away, but what you can do with this, and we'll do that much later, uh, we can get uh, Yoshi to spray it away with his little juice that he can spit out. Okay, so we're not quite done with Kino Park, so we're gonna head right back over there. We haven't been to this part of the island. Very relaxing. Okay, yep, right back over here. One, two, and three. There you go. So that was Shine 6 before. Crazy that we're only about halfway through in today's episode. There's still so much more to do, so let's keep it going in episode seven, Shadow Mario in the Park. I guess we're not halfway through with the for the episodes, but for the total shines, there's 11 in total to get, so yeah. So here at Peanut Park, Shadow Mario in the park. Gotta find Shadow Mario. We just dealt with him. He's all over the place nowadays. Let's see, yeah, this is gonna give me another cutscene. And there he is. So I gotta be careful, these Electro Koopas give me a hard time, but once I'm right in front of him, he just sort of stood there for a moment. Come on, Bowser Jr. I know it's you behind that, that disguise. Can't get far. Oh no. Um, this is where it gets a little tricky. That's it, oh, that was a good jump though. Come on, keep going at him. He's gotta be getting low. He's trying to outmaneuver me, but much too quick for that now at this point. Oh man, with a sneaky move behind the staircase. Oh, I watch right into him now. Where are you going? It does really take a beating, but there we go. We had to make a full circle. Darn it all, I'll remember this. Okay, at least that one wasn't so bad. We've been running into some difficult shine sprites, but this one, quite handleable. Luckily, I got it before that guy attacked me. Good job, good job. So there we go, shine seven, not too bad. And that'll be our 40th shine. Nice stuff. So we're not doing anything there, but we're gonna get back into the grind of just hopping straight into these levels and seeing what else we can accomplish. Hopefully no other nozzles will pop up for a bit so we can just focus on this task, but I guess at the end of the day, as long as we're getting things done, that's the most important thing. So, Peanut Park Roller Coaster Balloons, episode eight. So this is the final episode, right? And then we have to do the secrets. Oh, so I guess, yeah, we're going back onto the roller coaster one more time. That's how we started our adventures here in Peanut Park, and that's how we'll continue them. Oh my. This could end up being difficult. I'm not really sure how this will work. They're of Bowser Jr.'s face, though. Interesting. Oh, this is cool. He's playing a little conch shell. Tootie toot, tootie doo, bop dee boo, doo 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 doo, or something like that. I'm plucky of the the Buckies, haha. <laughs> so these these people are singing. The roller coaster is the best of the best. I'm lucky of the Buckies, haha. <laughs> the roller coaster is the rockingest. And then finally, this is Ducky the Buckies. The roller coaster is now the funnest ever. And now we would like to reopen the roller coaster. Very nice. So 
How do I get over there, I wonder? I think it's by the Ferris wheel, but I'm not entirely sure. Guess we'll have to look around a little bit and find our way over. It doesn't seem like there's a clear path over to it, but I can hear it from over here, just above our heads. Cause it, here's the Ferris wheel entrance, right? Oh, here's the owner. Hello. Hey, Mr. Hero, the roller coaster is open for business. How do I get on? Oh, right over this way, gotcha. I have a whole crowd waiting. You know, maybe this isn't such a good idea after all. Oh no. The cold feet after getting all the way up here. Boy, I haven't ridden one of these in quite a few years. Wahoo! Welcome to the grand reopening of the roller coaster. We've got a balloon popping water rocket game going on. Wanna try? Sure. If you can hit all the balloons with the water rockets before the roller coaster makes three loops, you win. And then we will give you a prize. Good luck. So we have to hit all the balloons with the water rockets. So I do see one over here. And now I got two of them. Pretty good start. So I'm guessing hitting multiple at once is gonna be our big trick. So succeeding in this. Now moving the, the analog stick around can be a bit tricky at times, but there's a triple. Nice. I need another rocket. And let's see if this lines up at all. Maybe, perhaps. Oh, maybe right there. I think I got one. Hard to tell, hard to tell. Uh, right there. That's one of them. There's another. Cause I think we have three laps, it said, to get them all. Well, I'll do what I can with as many laps as I have. Did that get either of them? I don't think it did, darn. Okay, let's definitely grab that one and maybe, no, I missed it. Jeez, this might take a couple of tries. The more I'm experiencing this, the more I'm expecting it. Only two more laps of the track to go. Your best, Mario. Oh, that was a double, so that was great. That's 13 out of 20, so there's seven remaining. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I might as well try to take a couple of shots at that while I have the chance, and that did get one of them. That got another. And there's another rocket right up here, but Oh man, is it dizzying to actually hit anything with this. Uh, right there, perhaps? Darn, I missed him. That's rough. I'm just trying to find out where should I, uh... Because I'm sure there's a whole route to this. I got it! Okay, so we're down to 16. Will that get any? Yes, it'll get the triple, so I just gotta find a way to hit that one. So every rocket we have should be dedicated to trying to get it. That might be a little low. Darn. Last round, I know. See, I can't even point low enough to get that one. Oh, well, I can change the camera angle, though. That's interesting. It does give me a better idea of what's going on. Oh, I hesitated. But we got it! You popped up the balloons, amazing! So on the first try through, we did it! That was awesome, we, what? Uh, we have to do it again? You did it! Okay, no, never mind. we're good. Awesome. See, so let's go ahead and, yeehaw! Grab this if, it, if it'll let me. There it goes. So there we go, there are all eight of the normal shines in Pina Park. Some of them were quite challenging, but some of them we got through easier than I was expecting. So that's awesome. Leaving us with 41 shines remaining, or in total. We still have a few shines remaining in today's episode I would like to get to, so before we get too excited with what's next here in Delfino Plaza, let's be sure to check out what we have left. Because as per usual now, there should be two more secret shines to get, and the two secret areas that we found throughout this level, and then the 100 coin shine, which was quite challenging in the last episode, so I'm a little concerned on how things might go in today's episode. We'll have to wait and see, but for this first secret shine, we need to go to number two, the beach cannon secret. So, yeah, we sort of figured this out before we had to beat up the one uh, Monty Mole, and then get inside of there, so let's see if we can do that. Okay, so here we are. All we have to do is hit this button, and we'll need to collect those eight red coins before the timer runs out. So I see one, two, three, four, five, six, right at the beginning. So 
I would hope that's not too bad, but uh, we have already died. <laughs> so I can't rush it. That's sort of the thing, even though there, there's a lot going on here, we gotta make sure we don't rush right into it because that's gonna happen. So let's try again. All right, ready? Got it. And I think we'll go for this one first. And then I need to get over to this as soon as possible. And this is where just hesitation gets involved. Because it's very easy to just make a mistake with the... Oh no, oh no. Okay, it's back, it's back. Got it. So luckily, if I just have to hang out for a bit, I should be able to buy enough time for me just to... Yeah, 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 okay. So now the question is, where are the last two coins? They're not around here, so... Oh my. I think I can make this jump, and hopefully they're up here, because if not, I really have no clue. They weren't back that way. Well, there's one of them. Ah, oh, darn. And then the other one's right down that way. So at least I know I ran out of time that time. And that's gonna be tricky to get through that in the time limit, but I will certainly try. So let's go for, for it one more time. Gotcha. I think I'll jump off and then wait for it to come back. We know the deal at this point. And I think I can grab that land and then get over this way. Yeah, luckily, Flood makes it so that you can sort of game it and just jump while it's disappearing. And if you use Flood, you should survive for long enough that you'll be fine. Got that one. Now this is sort of a different story, but luckily, should be able to get there fast enough just to jump and head like that. And there we go! So we don't have to go through the entire level, it looks like, to get the shine. We have to cut off that last bit a little bit. But there we go, our first secret shine, all seven red coins, or eight of them, for the second episode. Pretty cool. And that means we have one more just like that to do back at the, what was it, the orange Yoshi one. So you'll have to get orange Yoshi, go into that secret level, and then do the same thing, get all of the eight red coins. So let's go and do that. Okay, so here we are again. This time we have Flood, so hopefully that'll make this much easier. It would have been cool if we could have done the secret level with Yoshi. I feel like that would have been a fun touch, just because we don't really get the chance to platform with him too much. So before we get too crazy with this, I might as well grab the one up this way. Because you know, if I don't have to lose a life, I'd rather not. And let's go for it. So this one, first one we're probably going to mess up, run out of time or something. I see one, two, Red coins right there, but it looks like it's about it for this side, as far as I can tell. So let's not rush it too much. We'll land right here. And I will grab that one. Back to here now. I wanna grab this and uh oh. Um well I might have just messed that one up. I just the camera sort of switched in a way that I was not expecting and it just walked too far. It happens but I really didn't see any other red coins around that front area, so I think getting through that as quick as we can is definitely going to be important. That is exactly why I grabbed that one up now, isn't it? <laughs> so let's go ahead and grab that again. And I think this time we'll do the same thing, but just not as silly this time, hopefully. And luckily what I can do is I can, actually, that was very risky, but it worked out. I think I'll just jump to this. I'm burning some time. We, we, we do have two full minutes, so maybe not worth worrying about too much. Jump to this one, and then back to this. That's all I was trying to do before. And while we can, I don't see any red coins out this way, so I think we're good to continue. And hope that I hadn't missed any, because I really don't see where else they'd be. I see three, four, five. Right there. Hmm. Okay, I can sort of skip that entirely, which is nice. And then, okay, there's one, there's another. Oh no. 
Okay, I might go get that on the way back because I just don't want to waste too much time. Oh my. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know why, sometimes the side jump just simply doesn't work. Okay, so far so good. I have a minute left and I'm going to try to get on top of that. Uh, it didn't work. Uh-oh. Well, I guess it's for the better. I didn't even see this one, so that's six. So I think I know where the rest of them are. It's just now a matter of can I get them in time. I think my number one focus has to be this one. So let's go over here. Grab it. And then back over that way. This one should be no problem. We have plenty of time left for it. There we go. Okay, we did it. That one definitely took a couple of tries, but was well worth the effort because it's another shine for a collection. And there we go. Awesome stuff. So yeah, pretty good right there. So that means that we only have one shine left to get in Pina Park, and that should be the 100 coin shine. Now that one, I hope it goes well. The last episode was a bit challenging, so we'll have to see how involved of a process it is this time. I think we're gonna be going into episode number two, basically for the first secret shine to get all the coins in that one. Okay, so yep, hopping right back in and launching off for what might be the final time. Let's hope we get ourselves a really nice, easy shine. I'll have to see. So, yep, moving all the way back over to episode two right here, the Beach County Secret. And we'll just try to get whatever coins we can. I guess because with this, we can hit those missiles, get some extra coins out of it. So that'll be my first goal. And hopefully it makes some good progress. Uh, it looks like I might have already missed one. But them just landing doesn't drop any coins. Is that one golden? Uh, it seems to have been. Maybe I could get some extra coins out of that? See, as you can see, I could do that. And that gets me coins, but the problem is they disappear nearly immediately for some reason. Okay, there's two more. And I don't know how long this goes on for, but I'm willing to try and find out. Ooh, ooh, look at that. So that's a bunch of coins. And I couldn't quite get them all, but I got a good chunk. Ow. Oh no. Mario had quite the reaction in that one. Okay, there's two more. So definitely grab those. We're already at the 16, which is pretty nice. Oh, and the Yoshi egg is here. Even though we've already completed this level, that's pretty interesting. Because there was definitely not a Yoshi egg there before, was there? I don't think so. Maybe there's a couple of coins for us to grab. And that does refill our health, which is nice. I don't know if this goes on forever. If it does, and this is definitely the way to do it. Let's see. Because we thought it might have been that way with the, the watermelon, but eventually it would stop giving it to you. But maybe they actually included an easy 100 coin situation. That'd be really appreciated because in this game they just really don't play around with those. So far so good though, we're up to 28. Wow, that was a bunch of them. And get another one. It's still given to me, no problem. So that's really good. Let's see. Yeah, coins everywhere. This is sort of a sight to behold for this game. Cause like I said, the coins have been such a sort of a rarity in this game for some reason. Got it. I gotta imagine this might be one of the, oh gosh, maybe if I got too close, will he make the other ones anymore? Oh, there they go, there they go, okay. Ah, uh, it's going straight down though. I was hoping it'd go a little bit closer. Cause that golden one is certainly useful. Okay, so. Grab as many of those as I can. Hey, rude! So we're up to 50 now. Let's see, will it still work? I'll get you. Yeah, it's still working, no problem. Some of them are disappearing before I can get to them, as per usual, right? Oh, there's one more. Oh, is that from the sunflower? Oh, thank you. Okay, just a little bit more at this rate, so. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button there. Now he's sending out the bob bombs, that's not what I wanted. Come over here if you don't mind. Got it, and got it. Oh, the golden one, it always pops up at the worst time, doesn't it? 
Oh, here comes another golden one, so hopefully I've spoken too soon and I can get a good chunk of them. There you go. That's what I've been asking for. That's 73 now, so this really might end up being the easiest 100 star coin in the entire game. How nice is that? Okay, we'll grab those two and then I gotta move over somewhere because this is not what we want. I think if I just move way back. There you go. And this would also be a great time to get a water refill. Got it. At least one of them. So he's always launching where we were. So it's probably pretty good to stay consistent with our placement, but not always easy to do that. So at this point, I'm not too concerned. I'm pretty sure we could just get the full 100. These are a little tricky. Wow. Well, we won't be able to get them all, but at this rate, it's, it's no rush. Okay. And once again, we want to back up so that we don't spawn in the other bob bombs because that wouldn't be so fun. Only a couple more left now, though. How exciting. Gotcha. 96, ow. Hey, I'm in the middle of something, 97. Come on, just a couple more. There they are, there they are, already. Got it, got it, got it. So there we go, 100 coins just from all this. Where is that gonna go? Way over there. So back at the entrance of, of Pina Park. So there we go from what was last episode, one of the most difficult 100 star coins to this one, which has been by far the easiest. Pretty significant jump there, I, I, I do have to say. So let's go ahead and grab this 100 coin shine. Awesome. So while that was every shine in Pina Park, there is still one more thing I need to do in today's episode. You might remember a few episodes ago we explored Rico Harbor. And with it, there was a shine we couldn't get to because we hadn't unlocked Yoshi, of course. So now that we have Yoshi unlocked, we should be able to go and do that one and be, at this point, fully completed with everything that we've touched so far, which would be great. We'll be all caught up on everything. So that's exactly what we need to worry about now. So jumping back over here, we know exactly where Rico Harbor is from earlier. It is this one over here. Now there's quite a few shines we could end up getting to Simply because, oh, can I jump in? There you go. Uh, simply because we got new abilities around here, Yoshi and some of the new nozzles, should allow us to get shines around uh, Delfino Square, but we'll be doing that later. For right now, it's Yoshi's Fruit Adventure, our final shine for Rico Harbor. As far as I can remember. I guess we'll, we'll find out. Okay, so yeah, we need to get a Yoshi and bring it up that way. So where can we find a Yoshi egg in this level is the big question. Oh no, uh, can I just climb up this? Not quite, gotta do it the, the awkward way. And I'm hoping I can just, oh no. I'm not really playing very well at the moment, but I think I could just really side flip, jump, and then use this to maybe get up? That's a complicated way of doing it, but it did work. Oh, and I think I see it back there. So as you can see, it wants one of these piney fruits. I'm not really sure, it's, it's not a pineapple, I don't think. Because there is a different pineapple fruit in this game, I'm pretty sure. But what we do with it, whoa, whoa, okay, I guess you can't be on there. Because I should be able to get up on this thing. We did this on the Rico Harbor episode. And there it is. All right, that's the exact fruit we needed. What do you know? So I will, I, I, I don't think I can pick it up because it's too spiky, so I need to kick it over to Yoshi. All right, well there's your kicked fruit. I hope you don't mind. And now we have purple Yoshi. And with purple Yoshi, I think it's all the same, really. Let's wait for that one fish, just in case. But remember what I said before, uh, that that's a problem. So we'll definitely have to get used to platforming with Yoshi because Yoshi cannot touch the water in this game. So here I go again. Okay, so let's try this again. I do want to see, is there any kind of special move with Yoshi we could do? We could do that, but that seems like it'd be a little bit more difficult to control. I might just have to make this jump a little bit more. 
No, well, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> this is so tricky. Okay, the, the most painful part isn't making a mistake, but that I have to run all the way over and try to get that fruit out of the fruit pusher again, which takes a couple of tries. That's the part that's a lot scarier. Because it just, it really punishes you if you make a mistake. Oh, I see. So, Purple Yoshi will make these platforms. Uh, the question is, how far will they go before they fall? Will they fall? It is starting to shake more and more, so I don't really know if I should, oh no. Ah, oh, darn. Once again, I tried to jump off the edge, and it just didn't work, but I probably should have just held on for longer. Okay, so we're coming up on it. Okay, and it does start to blink when you're getting too far. And let's try this out. And will this bring me up or to the side? See, I don't know if that's what I want. I know she is running out of juice in the bottom, right, you can see. Yeah, that's not really where I wanna go, is it? Huh. Can I just try that again while another fish pop up? I might have to wait for that platform. I think we can get up there for more fruit if we needed a refill. Easier said than done, but. Where did that fish go? Uh, I hope he's not gone for good. Okay, here he is. That is tricky. Okay. Oh no. Oh, Yoshi, please. Ah, I don't know where I'm going. That was scary. We do get some pretty massive height off of that. So I think that's our move to go here. Huh. How do I want to do this? Come on, Yoshi. No. Uh. And then maybe from here? No, it's going back, it's going back. This is too scary. You know what, we're gonna go over this way. I think that maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. It's so hard to tell. Um. I am running out of Yoshi juice too. See, that doesn't seem any better at all. Uh-oh, okay, I'm fine. And I might just have to, no, I can't, I can't, ah! <laughs> oh, you're kidding me, and I can't even do that because there is also, on top of that, something I have to spare with Yoshi. This level is ridiculous. I mean, I really enjoy playing as Yoshi, but they gotta make it so difficult that I don't really even get to enjoy playing as Yoshi. Oh, that's a different color, Yoshi. Okay, so what will the pink one do? It'll make a pink platform, which, will this raise? Oh, now I feel so silly. Okay, so now I understand, though, how this works, and hopefully we can make the most of our time with these platforms. Because I believe that'll be all we need if we get that right there. If I can actually get on top of it. No, you're kidding, ah. Uh. Okay, get over to this one then. Come on, Yoshi, there you go. And hopefully I can make this jump. I really, really hope I can make that jump. We're gonna wait for it to actually flash that it's going away, or just to be really certain. There you go. And that was enough, just one little spray is all we needed. And how do I get off of Yoshi now, is the question. Or maybe I wanna stay on Yoshi? Not quite. Ah, scary. Okay, let's get Yoshi back down here. Whoa, whoa, that was weird. Okay, if it works, look at this, we got the clip to shine with Yoshi. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that one. So there we go. All of today's hard work out of the way, we have gotten 45 shines completed, and not only is Pina Park completed, but now Rico Harbor is as well. So next episode, we'll be hopping into this next area with the beam of sunlight coming down. Not really sure what's up with that, but we'll find out in the next episode. For right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Super Mario Sunshine. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.